There's a rush for medical marijuana users to stock up before the crush expected Wednesday when recreational cannabis becomes legal. CBS 2's Dana Kozlov reports some cardholders fear they'll be left in the weeds when the law changes. What do we have there? Privacy is still a concern, so we didn't show you the line at this Lakeview Cannabis Dispensary, but there was one as those with medical marijuana cards showed up in droves to stock up before sales to the public begin Wednesday. There's a lot of people in line that are nervous about getting what they need because January 1st we know that this is going to be a whole different scene. Jason, last name withheld, uses medical marijuana for GI and mental health concerns. For me it just made sense. Matt Lancor uses it for concussion related issues and PTSD. I think the reality is there's going to be a shortage of products they can create for, you know, the foreseeable month that takes you know, three months to grow a crop of this stuff. It's not like you can just go make some tomorrow. Both say it helps them immensely. I'm taking off all their medications to go on to the medical marijuana um, products. And so to be off of the right other medicines to go on to this, to now have an issue trying to get this, uh, could become a problem. We're restocking our shelves. We're putting processes in place to make sure that things run really efficiently on January 1. And Lakeview's Sunnyside Dispensary spokesperson says that's not all. State law requires dispensaries set aside supply for medical marijuana card carriers. Medicinal users will also pay way less in taxes. For example, a $100 product purchase by a cardholder will cost $105 with tax in Chicago, compared to $132.50 for a recreational buyer. And some dispensaries plan to give first priority, even separate lines to those holding a medical marijuana card. Jason hopes it will alleviate a runaround. To have to go to try and find what you need at all these different places isn't going to be fun. It's not going to be easy. So if wondering, experts say there is still a reason to keep or get that medical marijuana card if you need it. And there is a lot more information on the do's and don'ts of recreational marijuana on our website, cbschicago.com. In the newsroom, Dana Kozlov, CBS2 News. Erica. Dana, thank you.